Today I'm going to show you how to hook up a Raspberry Pi running OctaPrint with a QD X Plus printer. Now the USB port on the QD printers is not a standard USB port. It will only read from the USB drive. Um, it won't actually write to it. So you can't hook up directly from the USB on your Raspberry Pi to the X Plus printers. There is a workaround that works great and I've been using for about a year now. Um, this works on the X Plus and the X Max. Um, I'm not sure which other printers it works with, if they have the same motherboard or not. But you can get around it by getting uh, one of these cables. It's a TTL serial cable, and you want to be sure that you get one that says that it's compatible with the Raspberry Pi. There's a lot of cheap ones out there that don't actually work, um, that don't actually work and it won't connect to the printer. So uh, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, for this cable so you can be sure to get the correct one. Now when you get this, you're going to have four different uh, four different wires here. The uh, green one is the transmit wire and this is going to go to the receive on the motherboard. Uh, the white one is labeled the receive wire and that will go to the transmit. It's going to be the opposite because it's like it's like communication, you have a sender and you have a receiver. So if you put the transmit to the transmit, it's never going to connect. The ground will go to ground, um, the green and the white will be reversed, and then we're not even going to use the red one at all uh, because we don't we don't need this as this isn't, uh, isn't used at all to communicate with the printer. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and power this off um, and turn it over and show you how this gets connected. Uh, as always, when you're turning these things over, be sure that you move the extruder um, up to the front. I like to, to put it on the front when I when I flip it over uh, because that will that will slide uh, and, and bang around. So you want to be sure that you get that in position before you turn it over. All right, now that I have the screws off um, and the the bottom removed. Uh, you can see the motherboard here. Now I have this down on its front. So this is the back of the printer um, laying down on the front door. Um, this is where we're going to plug in this cable. Now when it's laying down on the front like this, from left to right, it's going to be, the, uh, the first pin is going to be empty, open. Um, then the second one is going to be your white cable, then your green cable, then your black cable. Now there is enough room to mount the Pi up here um, if you wanted to, to print something or even use a case. Uh, I did have it running with the Raspberry Pi inside here and it worked well, but then I moved the printers further away from the router and I just I had some wireless connectivity issues, so I've, I've moved the Pis outside. Um, I just like it when they're easier to access, but if, if you wanted everything to be inside, you could do it here. Um, there are, there are also some uh, more advanced mods where you can power the Raspberry Pi from the printer. Uh, I haven't messed with any of that. I just use uh, the, regular, the regular cable. Um, one thing that I, that I would recommend with the cable is to get one with an on and off switch. Um, it's kind of a pain to have to unplug these and then plug them back in just because they're so small and tedious. Now with the Raspberry Pi, I use the 3B Plus um, I find that that's perfectly adequate for OctaPrint. I do have a Raspberry Pi 4 with the quad-core processor and 8 gigs of RAM, and I've actually had more trouble with that one because it runs so much hotter uh, than the 3B Pluses uh, that I just, I just prefer this uh, from now on for running OctaPrint with these printers. So for me, I'm going to just let it hang right out here um, and then mount the back right on here. Uh, if you if you do mount the the one nice thing about uh, mounting the Raspberry Pi internally is you can uh, if you use the Raspberry Pi camera with the ribbon cable you can just fish it right through here and then get a really nice camera location on the inside on the back the top back of the printer it's a it's a really good spot so I do kind of miss that um, that was one advantage to having it on the inside uh, so what I do is I just leave it hanging out and then I'm just going to fit this right back over. put my screws back in, uh, and then I'm just gonna run this underneath and have the Raspberry Pi behind it. Um, but that's really all you need to do. Uh, again, I'll have the links 
for all of these products in the description so that you can be sure you're getting the right thing. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, any comments, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, and you can always subscribe for more.